Scooby D B. What are you doing? How you doing? Doing good? You need some coffee? I do. Mm. I'm trying this uh, this new brand with vanilla in it. Mm, God dang, I like me some vanilla in my coffee. Are we are we the spoiled generation where we have flavored coffee? I remember when my parents would wake up early in the morning and they would they would percolate their coffee. They, there was a percolator on the stove. And, and I, I always found that to be very fascinating. That was my own old faithful from Yellowstone National Park right there in my mom and dad's kitchen. And it would percolate. And, and I, I, I never knew when it was done because uh, I didn't drink coffee that early in, in my age. I didn't, I didn't pick up coffee drinking until I jumped onto my first radio station when I was, uh, God, how old was I? 16 years old and 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 I you know I was like well I'm gonna drink coffee I mean they got a coffee pot so it must be true I have to drink coffee if you want to be in in rock and roll radio right yeah you gotta drink the coffee and my god I would go through a pot early in the morning but it wasn't percolated like mom and dad that (laughs) crazy Hey, it's Arrow. This is The Choice. This is what I was writing while the sun was waking up on a brilliant new day. Today, we're reading for March 25th, 2022. What day of the week is it? I I mean, I have a, a serious problem with that. I'm, I'm, I'm really emotionally, I'm attached because I really have to gut check myself as to what what day is it? In the podcast world, it, it, it really doesn't matter, does it? Because I don't know what day you're on right now. It, it might be a Friday. In, in, in fact, the way the world today, they may have invented two more days they put on the calendar, and, and it could be a, 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 a cross Mosca day. I don't know. The, the eighth and ninth day of the week. I, I don't know where you are. So why does the day of the week have to even be important? How we receive digital content isn't like any other generation. It it, it doesn't bother me that I'm three weeks behind on American Idol. But man, if I ask myself, so Duda, like what what day is it? I don't know. Can can we just go with what it feels like? It it feels like 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 a Tuesday. But is it? No. According to Google Calendar, it's a Friday. No, it doesn't smell like a Friday. I often wonder, how does this affect the workplace? The way that our mindset is where we really don't know what day it is. No day passes that three to four players aren't calling in with excuses. Um, I, I, I'm not feeling well today. Uh, I think I'm going to call in sick. Uh, I just noticed I had something in my nose about five minutes ago. And, well, yeah, I, I don't, yeah, don't want to bring it into anybody, okay? Oh, God. I, I, I heard one yesterday. And this, this one seems to be the common excuse anymore. I'm not mentally checked in. I hear that a lot. I, I'm, I'm just not mentally available today. Uh, I, I'm not coming in. I mean, we had a guy last night. And he, he just said, I, I'm not in the mood. So, so I, I'm not coming in. I'm, I'm just not in the mood. Oh, God. What do you do? Well, as an employee, you, you just kind of have to buckle down and they, they try to tell you, don't show any emotion. Don't don't just say, OK, thanks. Goodbye. Because in reality, when they're not making money, that's supposed to bother them. But in reality, let's go even deeper. It doesn't matter. <laughs> uh, I am no mental expert, but I am a team member affected by the acceptance of other people's bad excuses. What's missing from the plate here? is accountability and we've got to put it back on the list of expectations accountability giving permission to bad behavior of any type doesn't display a strong leadership platform the weakness is the acceptance of bad behavior only to be challenged by the presence of this new age in mental conditions huh i'm not feeling it today so I decided I'm, I'm, I'm just not going to show up. I, I want silence in, in, a, in a moment like that. Because, I mean, maybe I'm talking to you. And, and maybe you don't understand that when you don't show up, you're, you're going to be like this guy who decided last night that he was going to put in an extra four hours. He'd already been there eight hours, but he decided to stay four more hours because three people didn't show up. Where do you stand? 
What is your reaction? Do you have one? Because you have a voice. But the problem is, a lot of people, their voice... Um, yeah, uh, this morning, I stepped on a Lego. You know, one of them little toys, you know, the toys your kids get, you can get there, there at the mall, the Lego. And, uh, um, I hurt my little toe, and I, I'm just not gonna, gonna be in there today, because the Lego is actually in my foot. I have to go to the doctor. They're gonna have to use some surgery to, to take out my, the Lego. You, let, you, you get them at the mall, Lego, you know what I'm saying? There's got to be a positive message somewhere in this. And that message is, is that somehow through the common man and the common woman, the word has got to get into the heart and soul of the excuse maker. That you can't just not show up. Because somewhere along the line, your, your way and, and walk of, of deciding at the last minute that, well, you know, um, you know, you, you know, you, you, right, you know, yeah, you know, yeah, I know. It's called self-discipline. If it doesn't affect your bottom line, I get it, but you got to have a bottom line first. And we have developed this this new relationship with bad behavior and the acceptance of it. When do we not look bad? When we look at those that are being bad and we say, you're fired. I'm Arrow. And that's what I was writing while the sun was waking up on a brilliant new day.